what's up? I'm the Top Doom here doing another video for you guys and thanks to Brian underscore M MCX? Yes, MCX on Instagram. Sorry for screwing that up. Uh, we got this new image of what seems to be a newly revealed Mystery Pack Wave. This is the Mega Halo Universe Series 3 Mystery Packs. Now, they bumped up to eight figures instead of the normal six that they were doing for quite a while. And so that's exciting that we're going back to the eight figures. And uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into it, starting with the top row. We've got a UNSC Marine. It's that combat evolved UNSC Marine. Now, this isn't really a new thing. In fact, a lot of things in this wave isn't particularly new, but I think that's fine if you're mixing it with some new figures. But uh, some of them kind of seem like rehashes from previous waves of mystery packs in particular. Even some of the new stuff kind of evokes the original figures. So anyways, the UNSC Marine, this is the Combat Evolved one, which yes, I've got the one from the Clash of the Ring. In fact, I'm going to be reviewing that soon. But uh, it's got that bronze champagne, uh, champagne gold armor, and it does have the green scope, seems to have an assault rifle, and uh, I don't mind getting more of that, so totally fine. We're also getting a Covenant Grunt. Now, the funny thing is, is that this Covenant Grunt is very similar to the one from the New Dawn Mystery Packs. I think the only difference is the setup of the backpack, because I believe the original Grunts had two pieces for the back, and then these ones have three because the silver insert is a different piece that the orange just kind of slaps around. So I'm totally fine with that. I'm fine with getting more grunts. And uh, I actually have quite a bit of the orange ones from the, I think it was series six mystery packs. So to get an updated version of that, that'd be pretty cool. Cause I didn't get the a new Dawn version. Uh, but uh, yeah, totally fine with more grunts. The next figure we got seems to be a brand new mold. This is the Covenant Brute that has been infected by the Flood, or at least I'm assuming it's the Brute. It's kind of hard to tell, but it seems to be the case because when you take a look at the weapon, it's a Brute Spiker. But I do like the fact that we're getting more Flood molds, especially with the new articulation, because we've got the Combat Elites from the Floodgate Firefight, and then we've got the Human version from the Halo Heroes. So hopefully I can grab a couple of these because, you know, I like the flood infected figures. Next up, we also have Jega, which is going to be in the transparent color scheme. So completely clear, which some people might not like because maybe they didn't get the Phantom. Maybe it was too expensive, so they couldn't get this figure. But I think it's fine because it does make sense to have them in active camo. And not only that, it, it gives people more of a chance to at least experience that sculpt. Next up on the bottom row, we have a Covenant Brute. Now, this is the same mold as the one from the Halo Universe Series 1 Mystery Packs, except this one's going to be in purple, which I think is totally fine. I want to see more recolors of that. Hell, I want to see it in red or bronze, uh, something like the original Brutes. But anyways, purple is a fair color. I mean, it's a very Covenant color. And this one comes with a Brute shot, and some people have been able to kind of change up the torso armor so if you want to army build this you can change that up and make some changes so i think that's a good thing to put in the mystery packs the next one we've got is another brand new mold this is the unsc spartan cqb now funny enough this isn't the first time a black unsc cqb has been introduced in the mystery pack so this could be a reference to the series 7 version of the cqb which i do happen to have right here I know some people would say, oh, well, that's a bit of a stretch because they could just make them any color, but particularly they're putting this in the mystery packs. I don't know. It's just, I kind of like to connect the dots, but this one comes with the Spartan laser that's actually painted with a red stripe this time, so that's good. Uh, I wonder if it has some great inserts al along some of the details, but uh, I like the fact that we're getting a black CQB. It seems like he's going to have a gray or maybe a silver undersuit. Sorry about that. And then a gold visor. So uh, I'm excited for this. Hopefully I'll be able to get it. Uh, maybe I'll get some help. But uh, yeah, this is one that I really want to get. So the next one is going to be a Covenant Elite. Now I thought that this was exciting because I thought it was going to be a fresh new mold. But it's actually not. It is the same thing as the Vitas figure. So finally he's going to get a repaint or a recolor. And this is just going to be the typical Elite. Now, if you're wondering whether or not they're going to keep the mandibles, you know, cut off, 
it seems like that's going to be the case because I took a closer look and I can't find those mandibles so I think it is the exact same sculpt as that previous figure. Uh, he will come with what seems to be a plasma rifle. I, I couldn't tell because it's kind of blurry on my camera but yeah it, it is. And then the last figure we've got is a Spartan Hell Jumper. So this is a character that or an armor type that was in uh, I think Halo 5. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. You know, it's an old sculpt, but you know, it's fine to bring back. Now this one is going to be the typical green Spartan that they usually bring out, but it's going to have a purple lens on the visor and it's going to come with a Hydra weapon. So that seems to be the Halo Universe Series 3 Mystery Packs. What do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun dudeheads. And I'll see you guys next time.